I just went out and collected my three remaining traps so that I can get the proper numbers off of them so I can number the next two properly. And I pulled my traps and look at the size of this stone crab. Look at, look at this guy, monster. He is a monster. Look at the size of that. So I'm going to collect his claw and send him, send him on his way. Hopefully he grows up right here in my canal and I can catch him again with new claws next year because they'll be even bigger. Look at the size of that claw. Don't get them much bigger than this ever. Nice looking crab claw. Got him. Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. Headed out to some shallow mud flats. I've got five crab traps. I replaced the ones that got stolen with two brand new ones. I got my balls all painted up the same color. I've got fresh bait to go in them. I've only got a couple more days here in the Keys. You can see it's been storming all morning long. We got a little break in the weather right now. I'm gonna go drop these traps. I've got some really stinky pig's feet dolphin carcasses that are two or three days old some pinfish some leftover bonita some blackfin tuna it's all going into the crab trap hope to turn it into some big stone crab claws so anyways here we go hope you're enjoying this video hit that like button hit the subscribe button just to give you some prices in this neighborhood. This house right here, brand new, just sold for 1.78 million. The one next to it there, supposedly just sold for 2.3 million. That trailer right behind me there, Sold for $880,000 about two years ago. This, this neighborhood is changing again. We're getting some younger people moving into it, which is great. Life coming back. This house right here, they just redid the decking on it, painted it. I heard it just sold also, but I did not hear a price yet. Let's go set some stone crab traps. Looks a little windy out there. I might get wet. I don't care. If the rain comes, I don't care. Let's set these traps. Let's get some stone crabs. South Florida's deadliest catch. The water's a little bigger right here in front of the channel. Looks like if I can get out of the channel here, we'll be okay. Wow. Did you just get wet like I did? Out here having fun. Here we go. Getting some stinky bait here. Old pig's foot. The dolphin carcass. Here we go. Trap number one. Pig's foot. Dolphin carcass. That guy really stinks. <laughs> I'm gonna go get. I'm going to stay upwind of him. We're going to go move him over here. Here we go, trap number two. And the pig. 
pig's foot. Let's throw a pinfish in it. Boy, does that stink. Hope you can smell it. Look at the oil already coming up on the water there. See that sheen? That's the oil from the fish in the pig's feet. Number three. I've got, I've got two more traps sitting on the back here. I'm going to load those up and just place them. Um, we got another crabber right here on this blue ball, so I'm going to go just that equal distance past that to set my next one. All right, just set that one. Got the last one. We're going to put all the rest of the goodies in it. Load it, load it up with whatever's left in that bucket. It smells. I've been uh, throwing ice on that bucket for three days. Trying to preserve that dolphin. And those pig's feet were frozen until yesterday. I pulled them out to thaw them. So let's see what we get in these five traps. I'm gonna go right up here and set the last one. And we'll take a look at them tomorrow. This is the same area they stole my two traps. This is where the poachers are. I don't know why they'd steal my traps. I don't know why they wouldn't just steal my crabs. You've seen the size of crabs I've been getting. They're huge. I expect to get some more huge ones than these traps. Life is good. This is the best life. This is the island life. CousinJimFishing.com Ooh, that smells bad. Last trap. Big feet going in it. Dolphin. Skin. Pieces. Does that look nasty? It smells even worse than it looks. Just set the fifth trap. Right there she is. If you like my video, hit that subscribe button. All right, here we are. Headed for home. From the crabbing ground. It's only about a mile run. Lots of fun when you can do it in your flats boat. Don't have to take the big boat out. Just passed a piece of bamboo that floated in from the island. If I found that out in 400 feet of water, I'd fish it because there'd be dolphin on it. In here, the dolphin has already left it. All right, we've made it back into the channel. Right there's the open ocean. It hasn't rained on us yet. It's about to though. Clouds above me are starting to get dark. I might not make it back to the house without getting super wet, but that's okay. Everybody needs a shower once in a while. It's an island style shower. Just break out the soap, lather up, rinse off in the rain. This is the lifestyle I love. This is the lifestyle I chose. I worked my whole life to be able to do this. This is my retirement. This is what we want to do. Hope you're enjoying it. Follow along with me on the travels. We're gonna have some fun. Hit that subscribe button. Look at those guys, ready to go. They were worried I was after them. Bamboo chicken is not on the menu for tonight. Here's how I put the boat on the floating ramp. Trying to get lined up straight. Touch it into gear in the center. Get the motor straightened up in the back. Bring the front around a little bit. Here it comes. Straighten it up. And 
power it on. It's that simple. Then, then raise your outboard up out of the water. And look how that baby just sets right on there. High and dry. All right, thanks for watching this episode. See you guys later. Hey everybody, Cousin Jim here. Just thought I'd show you a little of the fruits of my labor. Look at the size of this crab claw. Now I boiled him for seven minutes and now I'm going to eat him. I've got some drawn butter there. The way I crack these things, since I don't have a crab claw cracker, is I just take a heavy duty knife and just whack him with the end of it and he will split. And so I split them like that. I need to split them just a little more. Look at the size of this piece of meat. Is that thing huge or what? And dip it in the drawn butter there. And is that ever good? Follow me, Cousin Jim. Hmm. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. Follow me, Cousin Jim.